so um, let's let's uh, let's continue on. Uh, a function is even if f of negative x happens to be equal to f of x, and even functions are symmetric about the y-axis. So, like you know, when you look at the graph of x squared and x squared looks like this. You know, just imagine this is the y-axis. Uh, an even function means when you plug in a negative x for the x, your function remains unchanged. So in 1.2, we're gonna talk about transforming functions, graphing functions using transformations. Does anyone know what this negative x does in here? What transformation that is? There's a transformation that that means. Does anyone have any feeling? That's right. This is, it's, this is called, uh, yeah, reflection. I call it like a horizontal reflection. About the y axis. Right, so this is x squared. When you plug in the negative x, what happens? It flips it and you get the same function, right? You get the same function. So that situation is uh, called an even function. So um, there are certain trig functions that are even and uh, those trig functions are cosine of x, and uh, secant of x. Oops. Okay. Uh, a function is odd if um, when you take your function you got f of negative x is equal to negative f of x. So odd functions are symmetric about the origin. And what it means to be symmetric about the origin, basically that means it uh, remains unchanged when you rotate the graph 180 degrees. So the most famous odd function is uh, x cubed. So like, let me draw a couple pictures here. So for the even one, I was trying to show you if you have something like x squared, when you flip it across, it remains unchanged, right? The most famous odd function is uh, x cubed, so that looks something like this. Okay, and it's kind of tricky to do, but if you were to imagine you're like this, and then you start to rotate, 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 rotate. I can't do it, but you're like this, you rotate 180 degrees. I can't do it, but I need like a, a card, but the graph remains unchanged after you rotate it 180 degrees, okay? So, um, so we're, we're gonna determine whether these guys are, oh, whoops. Sorry, I didn't realize I have to actually click yes to switch you. Sorry, Kate. Um, Thank you. Okay. No worries. I, so the odd trig functions, the odd trig functions are uh, sine of x, tangent of x, uh, cotangent of x. These are all odd. So, 
let's look at this example and determine whether each of these are even, odd, or neither. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to take our f of f and we're just going to substitute in a negative x. So you can almost think of this as a composition, right? You're composing f with the inside function of negative x. And what happens? Well, we're going to put a negative x to the fourth. We're going to have minus 2 times negative x squared plus 3. So you guys know that when you um, have an odd power, uh, sorry, an even power, the negatives become positives, right? So this is basically just going to become x to the fourth minus 2x plus 3. And if you look, this is exactly the same as my original function, f of x. So take a look at our definition, right? We're saying when you, you start off with f of negative x, which is right here, and if you can transform it into f of x, which we did over here, then that means that the function is going to be even. So this means that uh, f is even. Uh, does that make sense? Let's look at this other example over here. So if we have h of negative x, that's going to be 2 over 3 minus negative x squared. That's equal to 2 over 3 minus x squared. This is the same as my original function, h of x. So this means h is even. Seems lame, I would give you two even examples, uh, but that's what happened. Let's take some time to do another example. Let's do uh, h of x equal to sine of x plus x cubed minus 1. Call this guy 5b. So I don't know if you recall, but uh, sine x is supposed to be odd. So let me just show you a graph of that so you can see. Maybe we can hide the cosine. So when you see, you should see on your screen this graph of sine. And I want you to visually try to imagine like rotating it 180 degrees. And you'll see that you still get the same, um, the same graph. Okay. So um, looks like most of us has finished. I want you to type your answer in the chat box and then I'll count it down. So uh, ready? One, two, three, enter. All right, all right. Let's, let's do it, let's do it, let's try it. Um, so we want h of negative x. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna plug sine negative x plus negative x cubed minus one, like this, right? And how does this thing simplify? Well, we know that sine is odd. So that means when you insert a negative x, that's the same thing. Whoa. That's the same thing as negative sine of x. Okay. Then the next guy is uh, negative x cubed. So you can really write this like this. This is like negative one cubed x cubed. And you got minus one. Now, as you probably know, any negative negative one raised to an odd power is just negative one. So this basically becomes negative sine x minus x cubed minus one. Okay. So if this was odd, then I can factor out a negative one and get the same as h of x. 
So let me factor out a negative one. I'm gonna factor out a negative one, get negative. I'm gonna get sine of x plus x cubed plus one. Now, when you look at this guy, is this, is this the same as my original function h of x? It is not, because it differs by a sign right here. So this is not h of x. So in this particular case, this guy is neither. I'm tempted to give you one that's odd. Um, I kind of want to point out to you that if something is going to remain unchanged when you rotate it 180 degrees, it kind of has to go through the origin. And uh, that sort of constant term on the end kind of shifts it away from the origin. Um, so for an odd one, you would get the uh, h of x on that inside there but we didn't in this case, okay? 